Choosing the wrong material for today's progressively complex medical devices has the potential to cause design problems or failure. Recalls of medical devices by the US FDA are on the rise. Out-of-pocket costs and collateral consequences of issuing a recall are expensive and damaging. You do not want to end up as a statistic contributing to this trend. The use of polyurethane materials in medical devices has been increasing over the years due to their many desirable characteristics, such as availability in a wide range of durometers spanning the range from approximately 20 Shore A to 80 Shore D, excellent mechanical properties including high tensile strengths and some of the best abrasion resistance of any polymer, good biocompatibility, which is particularly important for both short-term and long-term medical use. Ability to customize polyurethane chemistry for different applications. For example, polyurethanes can be formulated to be highly resistant to chemical degradation. Polyurethanes can be synthesized by many routes, but the most common synthetic scheme for medical polyurethanes, shown here, is called the pre-polymerization method. Urethane linkages are formed by reacting an isocyanate with a hydroxyl group. In polyurethanes, the isocyanate group comes from the lower molecular weight diisocyanates, while the hydroxyl group comes from two sources, the polyol and the chain extender. The polyol is a high molecular weight ester, ether, or carbonate capped with a hydroxyl group on both ends. In the pre-polymerization method, this polyol is reacted with an excess of diisocyanate to form a pre-polymer. After the pre-polymerization, a low molecular weight diol, called a chain extender, is added to link the prepolymer molecules together to form the full polymer, a polyurethane with a narrower range of molecular weight. Polyurethanes are also called segmented polymers because the reaction forms two separate domains called the soft segment from the prepolymerization of the polyols and the hard segment from the chain extension reaction. These two domains are responsible for the broad physical characteristics of polyurethanes. The hard segment provides many of the high strength properties to the polymer, while the soft segment gives the urethane pliability and allows it to retain flexibility without plasticizers. The tendency for hard segments within polyurethanes to align with other hard segments and the tendency of soft segments to coalesce with other soft segments is called microphase separation. This phenomenon is responsible for the broad mechanical performance characteristics of polyurethanes. When urethane is relaxed, the soft segments allow it to bend freely. But when the urethane is stressed, the soft segments are extended until the chains align. The crystalline hard segments then resist further deformation and produce high tensile strengths. Polyurethanes can be designed to suit specific performance and application requirements, ranging from soft insulation and tennis shoe foam, to very hard, like bowling balls. In medical devices, the use of polyurethanes has expanded into more applications as new variations in the soft and hard segment chemistries has broadened their applicability. Currently, there are three key polyurethane families used in medical devices, each with its own advantages. Polyester-based urethanes were some of the first polyurethanes used in medical devices. These urethanes have the best mechanical properties, but were quickly found to rapidly degrade when introduced to the body. This rapid degradation is due to the susceptibility of ester groups to water-based hydrolytic cleavage, causing weakness and loss of integrity. In response to the poor aqueous compatibility of the polyester-based urethanes, polyether-based urethanes were introduced. Urethanes produced from ether-based chemistry were significantly more resistant to hydrolytic cleavage. But it was found that medical devices were weakened and prematurely failing due to an oxidative mechanism within the body, which degraded the polyether urethanes. The third generation of urethanes for medical devices is the polycarbonate-based polyurethanes. Polycarbonates have the best characteristics of both the esters and the ethers better resistance to hydrolysis than the polyesters, and better resistance to oxidative degradation than the polyethers. 
These desirable characteristics make them a popular choice for use in medical devices. The hard segment is usually categorized as either an aromatic-based dye isocyanate or an aliphatic-based dye isocyanate. The aromatic dye isocyanates produce polymers with the best mechanical properties and are the least expensive to produce due to their low-cost manufacturing and readily available starting materials. However, when used in medical devices, the aromatic hard segments have some serious drawbacks. First, over time, aromatic polyurethanes are prone to discoloration when exposed to light, especially UV, and after sterilization. Aromatic urethanes break down to carcinogenic diamines, so great care must be taken when choosing a sterilization technique in order to avoid this risk. The aliphatic dye isocyanates show improved features for medical devices as they are more stable in light and do not break down to carcinogenic compounds. Aliphatic dye isocyanates, however, are more expensive than the aromatic dye isocyanates and they produce a polymer with lower mechanical properties. The loss of mechanical properties is slight and is most often accounted for in the device design. Additionally, the aliphatic urethanes are more prone to degradation by environmental stress cracking than the aromatic urethanes. Environmental stress cracking is a plastic degradation phenomenon that occurs when the polymer is stressed in the presence of an active chemical agent. The stress source can be external, such as movement and bending during use, or it can be internal due to processing conditions or product design features. Environmental stress cracking is extremely prevalent in medical devices and is the most common mechanism of material failure than all other material failure mechanisms combined. Environmental stress cracking is a gradual failure process that starts at high stress areas. Fluids are absorbed into the stressed region, softening the area and producing microfissures. The microfissures combine to form localized cracks and the stress field moves inward. The process of fluid ingress and crack propagation continues until the device fails. The properties of polyurethanes make them highly desirable for use in medical devices. However, there are a variety of polyurethane formulations, and choosing the right one for a given application can be complicated. To ensure the most robust design choice for a given application, careful consideration must be given to a host of factors, including chemical environments. This includes the expected chemicals directly associated with the designed use, as well as the unanticipated chemicals such as disinfectants and cleaning agents, application, and external stresses placed on the device, such as placement, movement, and bending. For help selecting the right polyurethane for your medical device application, contact the experts at Parker Hannifin.